at age 22 in 1938, Dr. Burroughs, you founded the Southside Community Arts Center, a community organization that serves as a gallery and workshop studio for artists and students. You continue to serve on the board of the center on which you remain active more than 70 years after its formation. I was one of the founders, okay, one of the founders. All right. And that year is 1941 mm -hmm. that we started the, the uh, Southside. It wasn't 38. No, it wasn't 38. Okay. Uh, the Southside Community Arts Center. Mm -hmm. And you want to know how that got started? Yes. Well, because um, it's a, located at 3831 South Michigan. And uh, it just happened that I was able to buy the house across the street from that. That was my end. Well, anyhow, the house across the street, 3806 South Michigan, uh -huh. um, I was living in the coach house. I had rented the coach house. And the Quincy, it was called the Quincy Club, which was a railroad men's club. And they decided to sell, sell the building. And <coughs> uh, so they offered the offered a sale to me and my husband gave us the first opportunity to buy it. So we were able to scrounge around and get some money for down payment. And we were able to buy that property on time. Well, now I was not, we were not particularly interested in, in getting rent money and so forth and so on like that. But we thought, we said, well, now the art center's across the street. And in Chicago, there's a Jewish museum, there's a Polish museum, there's a Ukrainian museum. So, well, that eclectic light bulb appeared above our heads and said, why not an African-American museum, black museum? Uh -huh. So that's what we decided to do with that house once we got it. Uh -huh. So what we did, we asked people to bring whatever they had to put up in the, in the, in the exhibits and all like that, and um, put a sign on the door, and in 1961, we opened up. First, we called it the Ebony Museum because the uh, ebony word meant black. But then we got some letters from Ebony Magazine uh, saying, you know, how dare we use the title. Then I wrote them back and I said, <laughs> the word ebony is an adjective. And we're, we're not in the business of selling magazines or printing magazines. Uh, but later on, we got the idea from African countries that would send us things. And they, they said, Afri African American Museum. So that's how we call it, African American. But then we realized that uh, Dusabo, Jean Baptiste Point Dusabo, was a person of African descent who was the first permanent settler in the area that became Chicago. And there was in, in our city there was nothing honoring him. So that's why we decided to name it after Jean Baptiste Point Dusabo. Uh -huh. so that's how it got kind of great story. Um, well, you've already told us. What Never. gave you the vision to create this center? Well, the, six, 61 was the DeSable Museum and 41 was the Southside Community yeah. Art Center, which is still going on, celebrating its 70th year. Can you imagine uh, it? Uh, yeah. It started out um, through the WBA. We were able to get class, have classes and everything like that. So then when the WBA went out of existence, we sent out an appeal to various artists in the community to raise some money to keep it going. As I remember standing on the corner of 39th and Grand Boulevard, it was called then, it's now King Drive, collecting a mile of dimes to raise the money to buy that building that housed the art center. And uh, so it was very important for us to own the building because many cultural centers had started where they were renting once the WPA went out of existence, they went out of existence. But the fact that we own the building, we were able to keep on going was still It's the only one left, isn't it? It's the only one left. Yeah. Can you imagine it? Yeah. After 70 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who are some of the students who came to work with me? You mean at the Art Center? Yes. Oh, you mean many of the artists, many were they students or were they typically no, artists? They were, they were artists. Many of them um, have gone on to glory. Mm -hmm. But Fred 
Jones and Charles Sibri and Charles White, oh, wow. you know, people like that who uh, passed through there, uh, took classes there, painted there, and so forth and so on. I can get you that information from okay. the Art Center and send it to you. What were some of the workshops at the center? Well, they had the, in photography, Gordon Rogers Parks uh, did mm -hmm. one there, and uh, mm -hmm. they had uh, many, many of them okay. in all phases. Do we have illustrations of the center with students working and or their work? As I said, I will send you some information okay. on, the, on the art center, the development of the art center. Do you hear from any of the students today? Of any of the artists? Today? Many of them have gone on to glory. Yes. Are you just hanging on here and just going on and on well, and that's on? that's because I still have work to do. Yeah, you got work to do. That's right. God you still has some work for me. Yeah, you didn't finish I your work. I can't be kicking out. Um, no, you didn't finish your work yet. We haven't, we're not through with you yet. Well, I said I'm not through with me yet. <laughs> right.